Bracketeers. Welcome to this week's episode of... I've got to work on my YouTube magic skills. <sighs> All right, you guys. I'm excited to read this week's answers and get right on to it. So let's get started. Why are we waiting? I mean, come on. What, if there's any reason to wait, you know, then maybe we could we could do that. But I don't really I don't really see a reason to wait because you know then the video just takes longer and you know everyone's all anxious to. To get to the responses and and I really just I, I really I... so last week I asked you guys if you could have three wishes to finish a sentence of what they would be so we've got some good answers here let's see we've got Angela Holler who says if I was granted three wishes they would be world peace meet the wrestler the undertaker and finding a cure for certain diseases which diseases, you know? You would pick them as, as, cause I mean, when you get your wish, you gotta know. I'm sure they're gonna, the genies gonna be like, which ones, man, which ones? <laughs> Next we have Tanya Longley. If Tanya Longley was granted three wishes, she would ask for a billion dollars, no more hatred, and a cure for cancer. Keep fighting, Drek Shadow. Yes, and for those of you who don't know anything about Drax Shadow or what she's talking about in this comment, I'll have a link in the description below for the Mom's Vlog 80 channel where you can learn all about Drax Shadow. In fact, why don't I put a certain video down there so you can watch exactly his story and then you can uh, find their channel from there. Alrighty. <laughs> WB, WB, the WB. The WB. WV Running Dawn says, if I was granted three wishes, they would be an unlimited amount of money. Ooh, you got the billion dollars beat. No more crime. And last but not least, full alien disclosure. I mean, you don't know about them aliens, right? Ugh. Ohana means family. Family means Nobody left behind or forgotten. Next up, we got Big Money for Eternity. He says, if I was granted three wishes, they would be one, to do a collab with my favorite YouTubers, the Bracketeers included. Aww. Two, to meet all of my favorite YouTubers. Does that still include the Bracketeers? And three, to be able to stand on my head without tipping over. That takes talent, man. I mean, I can't do that. Unless I'm in like an anti-gravity chamber. Heather P! If I was granted three wishes, they would be World Peace. We got another vote for World Peace. Travel America and Australia. Australia? Oh, I would love to go visit Australia. Gotta go visit my friends over at Geek Out Vlogs, right? Go check them out, man. Um, link in the description below for Geek Out Vlogs. Three, to the ability to cook better because I am a useless cook. Now, Heather, are you really a useless cook? You can't cook anything at all. Let's uh, let, let's do some lessons together. I think I, I've got some recipes over on uh, my Sean Moss channel. If you wanna go check that channel out, shameless plug, then uh, you know there's a couple recipes over there and I've been thinking of doing a, a cooking channel, but I just really need to find some time and <laughs> Ooh, anyway, let's not get into that right now, but that might be something that comes up now and they, uh, someday soon. Um, yeah. Then we've got Christy Erickson. She says, if, if I was granted three wishes, I would wish for that all people can afford the necessities of life. That is so nice because so many people that like the basics, the cheapest basic stuff, they can't get any of it. So they're different countries and right even in here in our own America and just anywhere, anywhere in the world. There's people that can't afford it. Two, that there would be no crime in this word. Which word?
Oh, world? Check your spelling. Check your spelling. Just kidding, I love you. Um, three, no pain or suffering for anyone. That would be fantastic. I felt some pain yesterday when I kicked my toe in the wall on accident, and it was not very nice. I did not like it. Not one bit. Thank you very much. Juice My Randomness says, first of all, that my videos always cheer him up big time. Thanks. I love that. that. That's like one of the reasons that I do YouTube is to make people feel good. Um, so, his answer is, one, to travel the world and meet everyone from around the world that I follow on, here on YouTube. So he would meet me. Hi. Um, two, to get rid of terrorism and hate. Great answer. And three, cure cancer. Again, deep answers. But hey, if this chance ever comes to get wishes, I'm going to wish my heart out. You do that. Sorry about that, guys. I was interrupted because my wife came home from work. Yay, Carolyn. Let's go ahead and move on to next week's question, or next week's sentence. I keep saying question, but it's supposed to be a finish the sentence. What is going on here? The next week's finish the sentence. If I could create my own animal, what would it be called? You know, so finish the sentence, right? I keep doing the question. If I could create my own animal, it would be a, and it would be described as, right? Because here's what I want you guys to do. Name this animal, but just telling me the name of what the animal is going to be called is not going to let me know what the animal is about. I want to know what it looks like. So you got to describe it. Now, if you guys will uh, be willing to, I'll give you some bonus points here and I'll show your artwork if you want to tweet me your art or you can email it to me, right? Bracketeers at gmail.com or at Bracketeers for Twitter, okay? And the hashtag we're using on YouTube is hashtag FTS animal. Simple one, right? FTS animal. So write in the comments below, just like you've seen in the last weeks. You can check out the last weeks if you wanna see how it works. FTS, hashtag FTS animal and then your response. Name your animal, describe your animal. Bonus points for sending me a drawing of what it looks like on Twitter or Gmail. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!